And uh, then uh, the next uh, morning, we uh, woke up at our hotel, uh, part of a very large chain of hotels, a sort of uh, uh, medium-ranged uh, tourist hotels in uh, Japan, owned by a uh, j uh, very militant Japanese rightist. Uh, uh, more about him in another uh, post. Uh, in any case, uh, we got taken to a, uh, a nature reserve called Hagone, which is um, south of Tokyo and is, is renowned for its beauty. beauty. It's a very, uh, a really wonderful spot uh, that you get to by uh, driving up through uh, mountains. And uh, you end up at this lake. Uh, I'm not sure of the lake. It might be Lake Hagone. I think it is. And uh, you uh, get on uh, these uh, double-hulled boats, which give a very smooth ride and take you out into the middle of the lake. And when the weather is clear, you get a, 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 a very pristine view of uh, Mount Fuji. It just suddenly comes into view. So we took this boat, and we got off it, and we got onto a, uh, onto a, a sort of chairlift, uh, and... Uh, took that up halfway up a mountainside and as we were ascending we uh we got this this ongoing view of Fiji just uh, sorry Fuji uh, through the uh, uh through the windows this this uh, spectacular view of it and then we got halfway up this this facing mountain to a sort of plateau and got off and um we were surrounded by the smell of sulfur this this is an area that used to be called sort of like Hell Valley or something like that. And apparently until uh, uh, the emperor came and the name was re uh, the name of the place was uh, changed to something like Not Hell Valley or Paradise Valley or something like that, we, uh, we stuck around here and ate uh, allegedly uh, magical eggs that are supposed to make you live for a very long time and uh, enjoyed more views of Fuji, which was uh, just in the background. You basically look at this and you think to yourself... <laughs> I'm friggin' looking at Mount Fuji.